I am still on the ground, but at least I am not narrating, or at least things have changed, the balloon, and I'm in a more familiar environment. This is the river camera on Main South in the Masai Mara, and there is a yellow-billed stork looking for breakfast. Let us see if I can get you a little bit closer. Oh, I always get the joystick the wrong way around. And a sacred ibis who just seems to have joined this yellow-billed stork in its quest for some breakfast. Quite interesting that the sacred ibis is following behind. I don't think there's any major benefits of the ibis being with the stork other than company. More eyes equals more safety and even these predatory birds have predators of their own. Now the yellow bull stork you can see is just kind of opening its beak and slowly waving it through the water in the hope that it's going to feel a little bit of movement and then clamp down on a fish or a frog. They will very occasionally use their feet to assist in trying to find their prey, but certainly they don't use their feet as much as another bird like the hummercock, for example, which uses its toes quite remarkably to assist in its hunting. Beautiful. Let me see if I can zoom in a bit closer here. Getting, okay, yeah, that's full zoom. And what I'm actually going to quickly do is, oh, what happened there? Did the ibis get something? You saw quite a quick movement. And that's where we're going to go next. Okay, there's the camera at Main North. Marvellous. I'm going to flick a switch and take us to the view from there. Okay, and then we should be able to see the vehicles all piled up there. Yep, there they are. Okay, now once I zoom in, the, the color should get a bit better. Well, the composure, not really. What am I going to have to tweak something? Let me tweak the iris. There we go. I can't see anything. Can you guys see anything? Morning, everyone. Let's zoom in a bit more, make sure they're all behaving themselves. Yeah, everything seems in order there. Happy tourists, what are you looking at? Magic. Okay, well, I'm going to keep trying to work out what those people are looking at. They could just be waiting for a crossing. There could be wildebeest coming down from a distance or zebra. And people often invest a lot of time just waiting at the crossings. Ah! Cha-ching! Now, this is looking seriously good, guys. Look at all these wildebeest. Whew! Well, that explains why all the vehicles are here. Have they started crossing? No, we're just in time. Now, I know Jamie has just found some lions, but I don't know if this would be an opportune moment to send you to them unless they are about to jump onto a wildebeest's back, which it sounds like they are not, but good prospects. Tristan's got lions, Jamie got, has got lions, and we have got a crossing that is imminent. Let me give you another idea quickly of how many wildebeest there are. There are so many coming down. Oof, I'm gonna, you see, when I get excited, then I, I start, my control of the joystick starts dwindling rapidly. So that explains that little falter there. Now, I don't want to leave the front runners, because as soon as one of them pops in, oof, there's lots, but let's just have another quick scan, zoom in. I mean, there are loads of wildebeest. Sorry if you're getting seasick, I just want to try and show you the numbers of them Ooh, guys we are in for some action here what lucky timing I'm so glad you guys were with us when this was all discovered I, I actually drove past this crossing yesterday I was parked with some of you guys actually on, on the sunrise safari I was parked just to the left of on the left hand side of the screen where you can see that long yellow grass I was parked looking 
kind of straight towards the camera here. And there was a few zebra on the other side of the river that were thinking about crossing towards. Oh, there's the first wildebeest in. It just slipped in, but that's sometimes all it takes to trigger the rest of them. But for now, they are just quenching their thirst. Let's just zoom in and give you an idea of just how many they are. I mean, look at that. How cool. I'm going to tweak the iris again. I don't know if I was tweaking it the right way. Oh, there we go. That looks a bit better. Very nice. Very, very nice. Now it's maybe a bit too dark. There we go. Whew. Well, exciting stuff. Now, like I said, one of them could slip in and start the crossing, or one of them could get a fright and run backwards and take them all in the wrong direction. It could take a couple of hours for them to build up courage. There is no way of knowing. Now, this doesn't look like such a bad crossing point, um, but Stanley, you wanting to know why do they choose such ridiculous spots to cross? And yes, there certainly are some terrible spots that they decide to fling themselves off into the river. But this isn't such a bad one. I guess, you know, it's going to be difficult for them to know where all the best spots are. They're traveling such huge distances, and even seasoned migrators will probably not remember every little crossing point and place to go. They just follow the general direction and general weather patterns, which brings them up here. So, you know, if... It could, if you likened it to us, it's just simple lack of knowledge and desire to get from A to B, which forces them, or doesn't force them, it just causes them to maybe make some bad decisions simply due to lack of knowledge of the area. Then again, you know, wild animals do have their strengths, as do we as humans, but brain power tends to be our biggest asset and not necessarily for the wild animals. What a scene. I'm going to zoom in again and just pan across all of them for you. Things like, seems like they're not going to go any time now. They could, of course, but let's just take that risk and then we'll pan you across slowly to give you an idea of how many of these beasts are queuing to cross. Oh. Isn't this fascinating? I mean, Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of wildebeest, which could res be resulting in a herd of a couple of thousand. Who knows? I mean, we can't even see all of them. But certainly good prospects. I am going to keep a close eye on them and will be sure to call you back as soon as any action unfolds. But for now, we are going to send you up to Jamie with some lions.